It's here. Hello everyone and welcome to a very special edition of the Haunt Vlogs for 2018. Now you know that there's a particular point in the Haunt Vlog season where I talk about the announcement because if you did not know tonight was the night for announcement season so I'm very excited for that. So I do want to quickly go through everything that is going to be happening so far at the Scary Farm event. Let's start with the returning scare zone. So if you didn't know, Ghost Town like that's like a dead given. The Hollow is returning as well as Carnival, but we are going to be adding a completely new scare zone and a new themed area. So the new scare zone is called Forsaken Lake, where it takes place in a what was what is a lake, but when it gets to the October season, the water level starts to drop, and all of the dead who have been in the watery grave reanimate to attack whoever is in sight. There will be show scenes that won't necessarily have a specific time, but they will happen throughout the entire area, and that will take place in Mission Row, which is actually going to be the area between Silver Bullet and where Gunslinger's Grave used to be. So that would be pretty cool to see. And the new themed area is going to be Awaken the Dead, where Festival de los Muertos used to live. However, it is going to be just a DJ, as well as some stilt walkers, some more atmosphere to add to the DJ's music, and it's more of a celebration of the dead, which, I mean, is nothing wrong with that. In my my personal opinion. And then we're going to talk about the returning mazes. For right now, we are going to be having Pumpkin Eater, Trick or Treat Lights Out, Shadowlands, Dark Ride, Paranormal Inc., and Red Barn and Infected. Now, what's even cooler is that Paranormal Inc. not only is coming back, but it's getting a completely new ending, which is going to be super exciting to see what they come up with, seeing as the ending was a little bit muddy and not a lot of people figured out what was happening, but I think this new ending is going to be just perfect. But for new 2018 for Mazes, we are going to be entering into the Dark Entities, which will be taking over where Tooth Fairy used to be, which was one of my babies. Dark Entities tells the story of a space crew going out and finding something very mysterious only to never be heard from again. So we as guests get to go out into space and actually find out what happens only to find that it is our turn to get terrorized. I'm terrified already. So the coolest things about this particular experience for this maze is that you are actually going to see from start to finish the overall changeover from human to alien. But what's really cool is that another really awesome thing that was announced is that the lighting of the maze is going to be very different than what has been seen in the past. Everything that is lit is actually coming from actual pieces of the ship and not from some pieces of lighting equipment, which is really cool because it adds a little bit of more realism to the maze itself so that's even cooler but what's really exciting is this is the first time that we've had a an alien maze in like forever that is also including invasion beneath which was at at the the calico mine train so if we're including that it'll be the first time in like several years that there has been like a alien themed thing inside of Scary Farm. So I'm very interested to see what Gus Kruger comes up with just because he was having a little bit of a rough patch when it came to Dead of Winter and Gunslinger's Grave. So I'm hoping good things come out of this. So I'm very excited to see that. And then replacing Voodoo we have by John Cook himself, the one, the only, The Depths. The Depths tells the story about a group of miners in a very very concealed town with a cavern of just different networks of caves all centered around the ocean where treasure, ancient monsters all kind of inhabit, but these miners have seemed to have gone missing. So we, as first responders, are going to go into the depths. See what I did there? Are going to go into the depths to find out exactly where did this where did they go? And so that is really cool about the mazes is that with these new ones for this year is there is there is actually now a role for us as the audience, which is even better than I've ever expected before. So that's something super awesome. Two other things that are coming out of the Scary Farm season is we are going to be also getting a 
the Ghost Town VR Showdown is going to now actually have a Halloween edition. It'll be five dollars at the board at the in within Boardwalk that you right underneath the Voyage to the Iron Reef, as well as there will also be a haunt art gallery created by 35 different artists that all love Halloween haunts. That's even cooler to see fans from all over the country submit artwork and to have it featured within the event itself. And I also forgot to mention the shows. So we are going to be getting something in the Birdcage Theater, which is called Conjurer, which is all magic, and there are going to be different magicians performing throughout the entire run of the season, as well as we're also getting the hanging, of course, it's called Shh, It Happened. And then we are also going to get a brand new show for the Charles M. Schultz Theater, which is called Hacks, The Cutting Room Floor, taking place in a movie theater, old abandoned movie theater, where improv is gonna lead to some very interesting, horrific, movie reincarnation. So I'm very excited to see what is coming out of this year. So good things. We've got some good things coming. Now you might have noticed through social media that I were, was posting some very interesting pictures. And if you've been watching the haunt vlog so far up to this point, you'll notice that I've actually not mentioned where I'm going to be this year. That's because I wanted to save it specifically for tonight to make an announcement. For this year, I will actually not be in Camp Snoopy within the Hollows. No, because I'm actually going to be in the Boardwalk area as a clown. So I'm actually very excited to be a part of that because there's a lot of amazing people in that zone that I want to actually run with. So I'm very excited. Here's hoping for a good season. I'm very excited. We're actually going into um, Scare School in the next like two weeks. So you'll see elements but you won't actually see a lot of it just because again there's only so much that i can release as of this point but overall i'm very excited i am so excited for this year so um let's buckle up let's have a good season so thank you so much for watching this very special episode of the haunt vlogs if you like the video please do not forget to like and subscribe down below please also do not forget to hit the bell icon so you get notified every time a new episode of the haunt vlog is released if you'd like to see more from the season that i've already released please click within the annotations and i'll leave something awesome there for you thank you so much for watching and as always my name is forrest and remember pancake peace ah! Oh!